It's kind of difficult not to be distracted by all the lines that appear in the layout. These are helpers and they're like magnetized lines that your content will be attracted to and they'll help you align and build your layouts quickly and efficiently. They won't appear in the finished print file or in any screen based presentations. So if you wish to turn them off, head up to the view menu, go down to screen mode. Here it tells us that we're currently working in the normal mode, hence the tick next to it. Click on preview and InDesign will give you the closest thing it can offer to a print preview. Anything that remains on the finished trim page size will be visible on screen. Anything beyond in the areas that are classed as bleed will be hidden away and you can take stock of your design without the distraction of all those lines. There's also a handy keyboard shortcut that will allow you to jump between those two modes. Press the W key on the keyboard and here it'll take me back to normal mode. Press it again and it takes me back to preview mode. It's really handy. Also, if I go back to the view menu, go down the list to screen mode, there's one at the bottom of the list in there called presentation. So click on that and it takes you into what is fairly close to a full screen PDF presentation. You don't have to be distracted by all the buttons and whistles inside of InDesign. Go to the cursor keys on the keyboard, tap the down cursor key to go to the next page, or you can press the up cursor key on the keyboard to go to the previous page. So if you are editing your document and you need to change a heading, for example, simply hit the escape key on the keyboard. It takes you to that page in InDesign where you can start making your edits. So those are the three main preview modes inside of InDesign. Normal for your day-to-day -day work with grids and guides, preview for the closest thing you get to a print preview, and the presentation mode is really handy if you need to focus on just the design and the layout, perhaps to critique the artwork or sit around as a group and analyze your work to date.